You may have seen in a post the other day that I received my copy of the Complete Chord Songbook by Queen. It's written by Stephen Robertson. He sent us this. I said I'd um, review it. This is an updated version with extra songs in. So we'll take a look at the book. This is the updated version. The older one, which I use constantly, was this one. Um, now it's got extra songs in. It's got Procession, God Save the Queen added to it as well as the tracks from the Flash Gordon soundtrack album, uh, which were quite good. Now, what I like about this book, if you want to help, it goes like, almost like, chronologically from the first album all the way through to the last album. So it, it's set out like this, with the lyrics and the chords. Now, I know a lot of people want the chord boxes in, um, but, we have, if we take a look at something like this, which was produced in the 80s, out of print, the complete code, uh, the complete works updated, which goes up to a kind of magic. The trouble with this book is, although I loved it, was you're terrified to open it in case all the pages fall out, and it's not particularly user friendly. Now, it hasn't got the code boxes, it's got kind of some of the, the, the notes in it there with the chords written at the top but what I like about this is the fact that you're kind of getting the, the full song on one page which is handy when you're working songs out or when you've already learned a song and you need a reminder it's easy and because of the binding of it you can fold it you can fold it round and it's really it's really easy to use now in this one if it goes through album by album Stephen has added procession. Now that might not look much, uh, and a lot of people ask for the guitar tablet, has obviously orchestrated. It'd be quite an undertaking to actually tab that out. But we've got the chords there. Now that might not look much, but if I just put me on the tripod there. If I try the chords on the guitar, this is just quick, I was unrehearsed. So we've got the G minor D to G minor. C to F. So that's what was really handy. And if you came to work and out, how to play that on guitar if you want to orchestrate it. You've got all the chords there to help you to be able to do so. Now what I like about it, if you take the, your traditional songbook, say this one here, the Miracle. Again, they're not particularly user friendly. You've got something like the Miracle, there's all one, two, three, four, five, six pages long. Which is all well and good with the chord boxes at the top, but it's not exactly, it's not exactly user friendly. What the songs in it? Kill our queen. Going through the millionaire waltz. You and I. Drowse. Now I've used this constantly um, in my videos. And what I like about what Stephen does because he's constantly trying to update. <laughs> The book constantly improving on it, getting more and more accuracy. You'll find a lot of the so-called official books aren't necessarily um, accurate, and sometimes you have to you have to make your own notes. Where I, I kind of trust this book a lot, and he's also very good at knowing what. Say in this case, if you say like uh, yeah, like E flat slash G, he's very good at knowing what the bass note is on the chord, which helps which helps a lot, which I'm absolutely useless at, at being able to work out. You see, they've got a fast version of We Will Rock You. Obviously, if you want to go in depth, if you use this book and my videos <laughs> in conjunction with each other. So, going through here. It's late. Melancholy Blues. Stephen actually plays that on piano. A very good video. You should check that out. Mustafa. 
So go through like you see album by album. Dead on time, fun it. Um, don't stop me now, leaving home ain't easy. More of that jazz. I want to play the game Dragon Attack. Now we've got Flash. He's added in the space capsule. Ming's theme. The ring. Football fight. It's actually quite a good song. It's the released the uh, the one without synthesizers, and that's actually very good. Um, in the death cell. Execution of Flash. The kiss. Oh, the plant of the tree man. Escape from the swamp. Flash to the rescue. Walton's theme. The battle theme. The wedding march. That should be interesting if you try to work out how to play that. But yeah, the chords you need. The marriage of Dale and May. Crash dive. And then goes, he's really covered this. Flash's theme reprise. The hero. Brilliant song at the end of Flash should have been a single. I've also done a video of playing along with that one and how to play it with the solo. We're going to Hot Space now. If we flick through, we've got the Miracle album there, Made in Heaven album. Let me live, Mother Love, I was born to love you, Heaven for Everyone, to be full of kill now we've got the B-sides, this is what I've really liked about this. See what a fool I've been, a human body, soul brother, I go crazy. Thank God it's Christmas, hang on in there, which was from the, the extra track on the map, album actually. Stealer, another B-side from the Miracle era, as was Hijack My Heart. Dog With A Bone, which was a, quite a rare track. Lost Opportunity, the B-side from the Innuendo uh, era. Mad the Swine, which is from the 70s, but was the B-side, uh, the 12 inch on Headlong. Love of My Life, acoustic version. That's obviously the live version, which features in the movie. No One But You, Only The Good Dying. Feelings, Feelings, another rare track. Uh, Let Me In Your Heart Again, Love Kills. And There Must Be More To Life Than This from the Queen Forever album. So all in all, uh, a brilliant track. I put a uh, brilliant book, and I put the link in the description of where to buy this because there's numerous ways. I think you can buy it as a download also, which is handy to have it on your iPad, and you can buy it on eBay. And there's another site I forget the name of, but I will put that in the description. So as always, thank you for watching.